Hi, this is Jerry Brimacombe on, uh, wow, Thursday, and it's March 10th today. I should remember that because I'm leaving town in two days. Stopped at a red light here. I want to talk to you a little bit about multitasking. So I thought I might as well multitask while we're doing that. So I'm going to set this camera up on the dashboard of my car. See how this works in terms of actually filming while we're driving. And uh, let's get those raindrops cleaned off. Yeah, that's better. And uh, we'll get going here. So uh, we're underway, going down Shelbourne Street, Victoria, B.C. And it occurred to me that uh, I often multitask, do many things at once. And one of the, my favorite multitasking things is accomplishing stuff while doing things that you sort of have to do anyway. Uh, in particular, driving. So do a fair bit of driving in my life, back and forth to the office or client sites or with the kids, picking up and dropping off, you know. And one of the things that has been really powerful me, for me is, the term was coined, the University of Auto. Back in the day, probably 15 years ago, I was visiting my friend Jeffrey Wallace in Calgary. And uh, Jeffrey's been a wonderful mentor for me, a super intelligent guy. And he lent me an audiobook by Brian Tracy that was on uh, sales and management and personal improvement. And said, you know, this is really a powerful book and it's really useful for you, go ahead and listen to it in the car. And the interesting thing was I'd never thought about listening to audiobooks in the car for some reason. It never occurred to me, even though I owned a couple of them. I, in fact, owned uh, Stephen Covey's Seven Habits of Highly Successful People and had owned it for a couple of years. I got it uh, on a package deal or something. And uh, so here, all of a sudden, I had this idea to listen to this in the car. I took it home plugged it into my car, and within a week, I had listened to this entire book, it, the read by the author, in the author's voice, all the inflection and nuance that you can get from doing it that way, uh, and huge value, huge information, huge learning, and one of the things was uh, Brian Tracy in there saying, subscribe to the University of Auto and improve yourself while you're driving around. Well, all of us, uh, not everybody, but uh, some of us drive longer than others, some of us don't drive at all. That's a good thing, too. Um, depending on how long your drive is, you can get through a lot of books in a month. I usually uh, listen to about a book a week, maybe a little bit longer for the longer ones, or depending on how much I'm driving. But uh, really, it's, uh, it's amazing how much you can get through. Now, I was really... Uh, this hit home for me, the value of this. Uh, yes, I believe to be... Uh, successful in life, we have to be constantly growing and learning all the time, whenever we can. Secondly, I uh, recognize we're all real darn busy, uh, myself included. There's so much going on, how do we fit it all in? And uh, so this is one way to do that. And so when I really realized how powerful and important this was in my life, was one time I was going through a tough time and really feeling down and not very positive and frustrated with business or relationships. I don't even know what it was, but just had a period of downness. And I said, what's happened? What's changed in my life that's making me feel this way? And I realized one of the things that had changed was the CD player in my car had stopped working. And it had been not working for about four or five weeks. And I, I went, you know what? I'm missing the University of Auto. Uh, I, I took the morning, figured out how to fix my CD player, got it working again, and by the next day I, I listened to uh, The Seven Habits of Highly Successful People for like the third or fourth time, and uh, immediately had a grin on my face again. So I need to fill my life with inspirational and educational messages constantly. We have this stuff, uh, Zig Ziglar talked about it all the time, there's messages coming at us, and a lot of those messages are negative. You know, the news or negative relatives or uh, bad news about your business or, you know, tough times. And um, so as much as possible, let's proactively fill our lives, fill our ears and our hearts and minds with positive messages and uh, growth. So uh, that's why I really get a lot out of this University of Auto concept. Um, 
one last thing before I sign off. I've, I was just mentioning <laughs> that just went flying. Brian Tracy. And uh, he... <laughs> that was funny. I'm sure that's going to look really good on film. Uh, Brian Tracy uh, was the first uh, audiobook that I really got into. And he's a brilliant, brilliant guy. And... Um, Friends of mine are organizing for Brian Tracy to come to town here. I don't know when it's going to happen exactly, but uh, they are planning to bring Brian Tracy for a one-day talk to Victoria training. So if you're interested in attending that, uh, comment on this video, and uh, I'll, I'll make sure that, you're, that, that those people get back to you to see if... It is something that you can attend. Good is the enemy of great. Uh, so that's about it for me Good right now. Good is the enemy Cheers of great. From Jerry and that Burnico is one of the key reasons the why we University have so little that becomes great. Drive on. We don't have great schools, principally because we have good schools. We don't have great government, principally because we have good government. And it works pretty